What's good everybody, it is your boy Cam back with another video for you guys. Today we are here to talk about two different things. One, we had did get a new um, update on the Xenoverse 3 website, and that's really not the main thing I want to talk about with the Xenoverse 3 website domain. We'll talk about that in a quick second. But also, there does seem to be a new Dragon Ball anime that supposedly will be announced next month. I do want to talk about that and cover that as well, because any kind of anime content, for the most part, unless it's heroes-based, if this is not something like heroes, it most likely will come to Xenoverse in some way, shape, or form at some point in time, whether it's Xenoverse two with more dlc or potentially a xenoverse 3 just saying now jumping into the who is record for dragon ball xenoverse 3.com guys as you can see it was updated again since the re most recent video that i made on this a couple weeks ago 11 9 to, uh, 2022 was the most recent update that it did get but i really just want to talk about and remind you guys of the big date coming it is literally not even a month away until this uh website domain expires so i'll definitely be monitoring this heavily within the next month because we need this to continue if we want any hope or chance of xenoverse 3 because i can pretty much almost say for sure i feel if they were to not continue this website and just let it go down after what seven years at this point in time it kind of would make me feel like any plans that they had for xenoverse 3 were just would be completely scrapped at that moment so this website being updated with its expiration is honestly very very important and we monitor it each and every year because of this importance at the same time now jumping into this stuff with the dragon ball super i don't even know what kind of what it's going to be called to be honest because the homie dbs uh 220191 said a new dragon ball weekly anime will be announced roughly a month from now to the best of my knowledge this is not a direct continuation of dbs or an adaptation of the dbs manga this is a new thing this honestly has me very very interested for multiple reasons one what the hell is this new thing like what kind of new route are you guys taking we already have the what if type of scenario anime with dragon ball heroes right so what is this right here like what other route are they going to go because it's going to be kind of crazy to see three different forms of a dragon ball storyline going on at the same time because we still have the super manga going we're gonna have this new dragon ball weekly anime thing whatever the hell it's gonna be and then we still have heroes going that would be three different dragon ball timelines all airing in a sense at the same time even though the dragon ball super anime isn't back yet we still do get the manga and i believe the manga will be probably be returning within the next few months at the same time so again this is gonna be kind of crazy to see because having three different forms of one single anime at the same time i don't know if that's ever been done before in history or at least to my recollection when it comes to anime now again like i mentioned earlier any kind of new anime that does come out or any kind of real dragon ball related content that does come out always has a chance of ending up in the video games at the same time so if this is a new dragon ball weekly anime that does introduce new characters that we've never seen before there is a good chance that these characters could come to xenoverse 2 or be a major factor in xenoverse 3 who knows what the plans for this anime are how important this anime is going to be things like that so this could just mean new content not only in terms of anime for the dragon ball fans but overall in the games as well because not only xenoverse but of course all the other dragon ball games dragon ball legends dokkan um potentially i want to say potentially fighters the reason i say potentially is because they haven't had a dlc announced in quite some time at this moment literally like what it's been almost a year i feel like since the last dlc character drop how long ago was it till lab quote 21 drop i'll have the release date up on the screen for you guys but in my mind at this moment i just don't remember so it has been a while since we've seen dlc for that game so that's the only reason i'm a little bit skeptical like i truly feel like they're implementing rollback into fighters to test it out on fighters and then eventually have it in fighters 2 as well and that would probably be the game where we see more new characters because i feel if they were truly planning on keeping fighters going with the new rollback and all this for a very long time there would be more dlc characters coming to the game as well and that's just not the case at this moment so who knows if these characters whatever they're whatever they are whoever i don't know what this dragon ball story is going to be based around like i have a bunch of things like what if scenarios floating around in my head like maybe a gt 
uh, extension in some kind of way. Maybe it is like a remake of the original Dragon Ball, like a Dragon Ball Z Kai, but Dragon Ball Kai? Oh man, that would be absolutely crazy. Or it's something completely brand new. Like there are a lot of possibilities for this. So let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments. What are your thoughts on the new Dragon Ball Weekly anime? And then also guys, the simple fact that the Xenoverse 3 website was updated once again, and that we are really close to the expiration. I will be on the lookout for that, like I said before. So let me know you guys' thoughts on all this down below in the comments. But as always, man, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, hope you have a good one. Peace, y'all.